I, you know, I honestly don't think I have a style or an aesthetic yet. Um, I'm still kind of finding my way and I'm really enjoying the process. With each project, I'm kind of learning more who I am. Um, and I don't have necessarily a, a, a plan of attack uh, for, for any of them other than, you know, I get a lot of ideas and I get excited by possibilities and questions and I basically just like messing around. This is my prepared snare drum, so it can be played as a head or as a resonator. The last few years I've been composing for a lot of other groups, Kronos Quartet, Bang and Can All Stars. It's been great, but um, Last year I started, towards the end of the year, I started to get an itch to get back to percussion. And I got the idea while I was touring to just go ahead and make a sketch for every different city I travel through. You can see some of them are just words, some of them I make little notes. Bruges, um, Belgium, New York, Sweden. Well, I ended up making 50 sketches. Hopefully if half of these turn out to be decent, then so we'll have a lot of nice things to choose from to create their own program. I'm obsessive about making field recordings, um, recording found sounds or interesting sounds. Okay, so here I am in Berlin on a rainy day, about to record a truck. Well, the truck by itself isn't that interesting, but all those other little like chains dropping, other um, construction sounds that are happening are nice because they're really going to be uh, subtle and add little bits of texture and that, you know, if I was just going after a drone, I probably wouldn't uh, think to put in there. I'm back and uh, just sifting through some recordings I've made. You know, sometimes I use them as a blueprint for pieces, but it just uh, always keeps my ears very awake and uh, in tune, and, and uh, it's it's been hugely valuable for me. So these are 10-inch hi hats, individual taps. 14 inch hi hats with the stick edge. 16 inch hi hats with the foot pedal. What we're doing is making a lazy man's demo. So I wrote this piece on Sibelius, and to save me the time of having to learn all the parts and play them and record it, get a good recording, I just want to demo it up um, so So can hear it and so I can hear it. The initial idea was to just have the four players pass off pulses to each other. So different types of pulses, fast, slow, different subdivisions. And then when I started to mock it up, I started to overlap their parts. And something resonated with me, it sounded fresh to me, that I, I love this thing. And so I know this is going to be a core part of the third quartet. Yeah, I don't know why, but that sounds like music to me. Probably not to most people, but... Ah, that jazz is me. Having done a lot of solo percussion shows myself, um, I know that in order to keep um, an audience engaged, uh, it's nice to have a variety of different things happening, um, you know, sonically, different types of tunes, but also visually too, because people aren't used to really hearing, you know, uh, 45 minutes of percussion nonstop. Most people aren't at all. A 
lot of the pieces play with different ideas of using pitch or not using pitch, trying to write for specific pitches, but with sirens you're never going to get there. So it was kind of this elusive idea of pitch. My idea of wild sound and percussion kind of being anything that isn't a string, a brass, or a woodwind. But I love the, the disposable cameras. From the rewind, you get that kind of ratchety sound, and also the clicks are really loud on those cheap cameras. A big part of, the, of so using the cameras and turning them on the audience was maybe, you know, maybe just a little snotty of me, but I thought it'd be entertaining, and I think it's nice to kind of turn the tables on the audience once in a while, and instead of the audience watching them, they were watching the audience. It's crazy. I was really pleased with how it all came off. So it was completely professional. I thought they totally grooved and I thought it was rocking and they, they locked in. I think we pulled it off, you know, the particular, that third movement of of drum kit quartet number three. That kind of became my favorite part of the whole show. Something about it, it was just a new style of writing for me. Really beautiful, but not at all safe. I thought it was something unique and, and kind of finding my own voice on that.